Mitsu from Google Cloud. And today, we're diving into fine-tuning open models using Hungface TRL and Google Kubernetes Engine. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is fine-tuning? Supervised fine-tuning of a pre-trained language model is teaching a model to become better at a certain task by showing it many examples of input and their desired output. This way, you guide the model to become better at that specific task. So you can use fine-tuning to improve sentiment analysis, code generation, uh, text summarization, data extraction, and many other things. For instance, to create a model that summarizes medical text, you train it on a data set of medical texts and their summaries. As an added bonus, a smaller fine-tuned model can actually outperform a much larger general purpose model on those specific tasks. Okay, so let's say you think all of this is great and you want to start fine-tuning. Now ask yourself three questions. One, do you have a way to evaluate the performance of the model on the task you're interested in? If not, how would you know fine-tuning works? Two, did you already try prompt engineering with a few examples in the prompts? If you didn't, do that first. And then three, do you have a high quality labeled data set with examples? You need that for fine tuning. So if you don't, it's gonna be very hard to fine tune. Now, if you answered yes to all three questions, it's fine to start fine tuning. I'll show you how to fine tune the open model Gemma 2 using Hugglepaste TRL. TRL is an open source library that provides all the tools you need to train large language models. I'll use it to create an adapter. Now think of this as a small set of specialized weights that when added to the base model, give it those specialized skills we're looking for. You can find the link to the full tutorial in the description. Fine tuning jobs can take a long time, so I won't be showing the whole thing in real time, but let me explain how all the pieces fit together. So first, I created a GKE Autopilot cluster. Autopilot is recommended for most workloads. I also created a cloud storage bucket to store the results of the fine tuning job. And the job does the following. It will first download the base model and then download the data set to use for training. And finally, the end result of the fine tuning job is a small file with the adapter weights and it will write them to cloud storage. Now let's take a detailed look at the manifest because I know you like YAML. It's a type job resource. And this annotation tells GKE to add the capability to mount a cloud storage bucket as a volume. This node selector requests a node with an NVIDIA L4 GPU. The container image is the Hugging Face Deep Learning container with PyTorch. The command to run is TRL SFT, that's supervised fine tuning. And here are all the arguments to configure the job. The base model is Google's Gemma 2 with 2 billion parameters. The dataset contains pairs of a coding problem and the code that solves it. So we're going to teach Gemma how to code. This section here tells TRL to use parameter efficient fine tuning or PEFT. That's a way to reduce the memory requirements of the fine tuning job. And this is why I can run it on a relatively modest GPU, the NVIDIA L4. The trainer has a lot of additional configuration values that I'll glance over for now, but this line, however, defines where TRL writes the adapter weights. And this is where I set the location of the cloud storage mount directory. And finally, this here tells GKE what cloud storage bucket to mount. Now that's enough YAML for now, let's take a look at the results. You can see here in the metrics that this fine tuning job took a few hours to complete. And here in cloud storage, there's the output. It's just a small adapter file. And that's because I use PEFT. It only adds a tiny set of weights to the original model and keeps the base model weights frozen. So there you have it. I've successfully fine-tuned Gemma 2 using Hugging Face TRL. If you want to see this adapter in action, make sure to check out my next video. I'll show you how to load it and use it for inference. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to grab the full tutorial link below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.